Good afternoon, and uh, uh, thanks for uh, coming to my session. And uh, um, my talk today is um, uh, how did we improve the uh, open source community management uh, with ChatGPT or GPT-4. So before we start, I want to introduce myself first. Um, I'm the uh, I uh, I work for Second State. It's a startup company, and we uh, donate our open source project called Wasm ID to uh, CNCF called Native Computing uh, Foundation. Uh, it's a sandbox project right now. So I'm responsible for the uh, CNCF Wasm ID community. And um, uh, I also organize uh, uh, some uh, uh, developer events in, in Asia. I'm uh, one of the organize, organizers of Rust China Conf. Um, it's, um, it's a big conference for uh, Rust developers in China. Uh, uh, this year, we have uh, 400 people, 400 Rust uh, developers to attend this uh, event. And I also organize some uh, small meetups uh, in Taipei, uh, Singapore, and uh, Beijing. If you want to go to, uh, if you want to uh, reach out some uh, Rust developers in China, you can also reach out to me. And uh, I'm also the uh, author of uh, CNCF uh, Wasm landscape. It's similar to the uh, CNCF landscape, but it's focused on the uh, WebAssembly right, uh, WebAssembly ecosystem. So, uh, um, so uh, this image is not generated by uh, ChatGPT, by the way. It's generated by my friends. So uh, before I started, I want to uh, do a little survey. Uh, I will ask uh, three questions. So first, uh, I want to uh, know, uh, have you ever used uh, GPT or GPT-4 in your work? If so, can you raise your hands and let me know? Wow, <laughs> almost 100%. <laughs> so uh, the next question is, uh, how often did you use ChatGPT? Okay, uh, for me, I use ChatGPT uh, uh, daily, every day. I can't live with ChatGPT. If ChatGPT uh, crashed, I will feel very bad. <laughs> so uh, the, uh, the last question is that, um, uh, have you ever tried other open source large language models, like Llama 2? Can you please also raise your hand? Okay, uh, uh, almost 50%. Thank you, thank you. So uh, ChatGPT is uh, is really uh, is really hot, but how uh, how we uh, apply ChatGPT into our open source community, our open source community management? Uh, this is the agenda for my talk. So I will give you a brief introduction of what's my so you know uh, what is what's my community and what uh, what I what. What I'm working for, and I also will share my understanding of community community management, and um, and then uh, I will share how did we use ChatGPT or GPT-4 to enhance the open source community management, and um, uh, last if we have time, I will do a um, uh, tutorial to show how to build a community assistant for the uh, for your own uh, source community. Um, by the way, all the uh, dev real tools uh, I mentioned below are built with uh, WordMagic and Rust, and they are also used in our uh, WordMagic community. Uh, you can also uh, uh, check out this page. It has all the uh, dev real tools I will mention. Um, by the way, you don't need to um, master what's mad or rust. Uh, it's um, it's a it's a SAS. It's can it's a, it don't it don't require you to uh, master programming. You can just um, uh, set up some uh, uh, some parameters like what uh, GitHub organization and um, GitHub repos to uh, set the automation. So uh, uh, a brief introduction of what's match. Uh, what's my is a um, uh, CNCF sand project uh, I, I, I also mentioned before. Uh, why was my is a um, CNCF sand pro project? Uh, uh, from this page, you can see that it's the, uh, it's the CNCF annual survey uh, 2022. It's, uh, the, the survey is can, uh, can uh, key, finding, key findings are uh, containers as a new normal and the uh, WebAssembly is a future. So uh, WebAssembly is the um, uh, new runtime or new container in the cloud native area. And um, uh, in one shot, what's my uh, is a um, high performance alternative uh, to Linux containers. It's called it's cross platform. It's light it's lightweight and uh, it's secure. Um, I don't. Uh, I will not introduce uh, what's magic much here. If you want to um, to know uh, to learn uh, what's magic uh, deeply, you can check out our website. 
So the uh, the uh, the ID funnel, I think uh, most of us are, are familiar with. So uh, on the top of the funnel is uh, the awareness. It's where you introduce people to your uh, to your uh, open source product uh, and uh, what kind of problem it can solve. So in this stage, developers will learn your, uh, will know and learn your product. Uh, we want to get more and more. Uh, more developers to know our product, and uh, in the uh, in the middle of the funnel, it's a uh, interest and uh, desire. Uh, this is where people identify a problem and they uh, they research solutions. So at this stage, developers uh, may will try your product to see if it can solve your problems. Uh, in uh, for the open source community, it's. Um, uh, we can uh, we can use GitHub issues as an indicator to see uh, if there are any developers are interested in our open source product, and um, uh, uh, the bottom of the funnel is um, uh, action. Uh, um, in the tra in the traditional marketing, action means that uh, 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 the user buy uh, buy the products, uh, but in uh, in our in, in, in the open source community, in our culture, it's uh, that developers will become a contributor and or, or an adopter. So, uh, based on the uh, the open source community uh, funnel, I uh, at least some simple uh, metrics that um, uh, we will monitor that we uh, take care of. So, uh, for the first uh, for the top of the funnel uh, awareness, uh, we will monitor uh, GitHub stars. Uh, docs, page views, and the repo visitors, and um, uh, for the uh, for the middle of the funnel, uh, interest and desire, uh, we will monitor <coughs> how many people, uh, how many members in our Discord server, and how often they ask a question, and um, we also may, uh, monitor GitHub folks because um, uh, we all know that uh, GitHub folks is the first step to be a contributor, and uh, we also will uh, monitor that uh, the GitHub issues, and um, um, the number number of GitHub issues and the number of different GitHub issue creators. And uh, uh, if they use our products and they might a um, problem, they, uh, they will uh, go to our GitHub repo and report what they might out. They will just uh, require, request a new, a new feature. So we, we will also uh, monitor that the software downloads, uh, the Docker image post number. Um, there's, a, there's an indicator that uh, the, uh, the developers are interested in using our pro uh, products to solve their problem. And uh, in, the, in, the, uh, uh, in the bottom of the final uh, action, uh, we will monitor the number of um, uh, OPS and uh, uh, how many uh, different people, uh, how many uh, the number of different PR creators, and we also will monitor uh, uh, how many people that use was my into their production environment. Um, but I uh, I list some metrics, but I want to highlight that um, open source management is just a number. It's just not uh, about numbers. Um, they are just uh, one way to uh, to measure our work. But we can't uh, we, we we can't use the numbers to account the uh, the uh, the community's health. So, uh, uh, as Linus has said in the morning. Um, people relationship is hard, so uh, the community experience is uh, also matters. Uh, we can use GPT four. Uh, GPT four is uh, not magic; it can solve uh, other problems, but it can be um, can be um, a way to uh, to enhance the community experience. So how did we do? So I will list uh, uh, three use cases. Uh, the first one is GitHub issues uh, management. Uh, GitHub issues is um, uh, very important uh, in the open source project. Uh, we will use GitHub issues to track uh, progress, and um, uh, Git, uh, we also will uh, use GitHub issues to maintain transparency uh, on the uh, technical front. Uh, everyone can check the GitHub issues. There is no secret in the open source community, and um, mm, so uh, the, uh, the the developers or the users uh, will create an issue. If they um, met some problems, they uh, were running the software, um, report a bug, or, or request a new feature. Um, they will uh, interact with the uh, the maintainers via GitHub issues. 
So uh, GitHub issue is uh, um, manage uh, GitHub issue uh, GitHub issues management is also important to the um, to the uh, to the uh, uh, open source community. Um, we want to respond to every GitHub issue uh, quickly, and um, uh, and I want to uh, help solve their uh, their problem, help solve the problems. Uh, uh, sooner, uh, the, uh, GitHub issues involves the uh, involves the middle of the funnel. Uh, it's it shows the um, uh, the interest or desire that uh, developer want to use our uh, product to solve uh, their problem. So uh, the first one is uh, <coughs> uh, I make a. Uh, uh, I make a Slack bot because um, uh, our company uh, communi communicates on the uh, Slack. So uh, this Slack bot can uh, th this lab, this uh, so when um, uh, when a new issue is created, uh, we will uh, the bot will call the call ChatGPT to analyze the sentiment of the issue. If ChatGPT defines the issue is urgent, so the bot will send the issue to the uh, maintainers channel directly. So maintainers will uh, pay attention to the issue. Uh, this um, this uh, this uh, uh, this tool can help um, um, maintainer or their views to. Uh, to uh, uh, to respond to the urgent GitHub issue effectively. Um, the next one is not involved. Uh, uh, it's not involved with the GPT four, but it's an um, uh, 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 some kind of automation. Um, so uh, um, the uh, the image on the right uh, left on the left is um, is also a Slack bot. Uh, what does the Slack Slack bot do? It's um, it's an answered issue reminder um, because sometimes we want to respond to the GitHub issue later, but then we will forgot to forgot to solve. So we will have um, some issues that um, uh, don't have any response in several days, in spite of for the uh, uh, the issue creator. So uh, so this bot can help uh, can remind the maintainers that uh, uh, there is an issue that you didn't respond to. Please uh, take care. So uh, so. Uh, uh, the uh, the left bottom of the the, the left bottom image. Uh, this one. So uh, uh, he created the issue two days ago, but we didn't respond to this issue um, in two days. So the so Slack bot sent the uh, sent this issue to the uh, to the channel, and then uh, the maintainer will know. Oh, uh, I have uh, I have an uh, I have an issue that I didn't respond to. So the the maintainer will uh, respond to the GitHub issue. Um, uh, this is another automation. Um, uh, ecosystem is also important to the open source uh, open source software. So I did a to uh, I did um, uh, another uh, bot automation tool to record all the GitHub issues that uh, uh, mention our open source project. Um, it will save the results to an air table uh, an air table table. Uh, air table is a table tool, so you can use it to uh, to do some. Uh, it's, it's just like Excel, so um, it will help me to understand that uh, what can, uh, the ecosystem of was uh, which which open source projects are using was and uh, if the uh, I will also uh, look at uh, the the uh, each of the uh, GitHub issues. If there are something wrong with was match, I will also uh, cross post this issue to to our GitHub repo. So it, uh, th this tool can uh, can can help me uh, monitor the was match ecosystem. So this is the um, uh, GitHub issue management. Uh, I also have uh, we also have one tool that can summarize the um, uh, the GitHub issue comments. Uh, but I forgot to list here. Um, the, uh, another use case is that the new contributor about it. Uh, to be honest, uh, when I see when I see a new PR uh, is in our GitHub repo, I'm I'm really very happy. <laughs> So uh, the, uh, a new a new pull request um, uh, indicates that um, a new contributor is joining the team. It's the it's a, it's a bottom of the, the funnel. We want to we want the uh, our community has more contributors and then be our uh, maintainers. 
so um, the process for a new contributor to uh, contribute to our uh, uh, our GitHub repo, our open source project, uh, is the following. So uh, first, the uh, first the uh, the potential uh, contributor uh, will find the uh, uh, a GitHub issue that is suitable for him, and. The, or her, and then he or she will write the code, and then he creates the PR. Uh, after they, he created, after he or she create, create, creates the PR, our maintainers will review the PR. It may take um, it, it may take uh, uh, several days, and after everything is okay, the PR will be you know, merged. Then we have a new uh, contributor onboarding. So um. From the first step, we can uh, filter the issues that um, uh, community can contribute to. Uh, this is a Discord bot. Uh, uh, we use uh, uh, we our uh, Discord is our uh, community member base, but uh, uh, our company uses Slack. It is kind of strange, I know. So uh, this is a Discord bot for um, uh, in our uh, in our uh, in, in the what's my Discord server. So uh, when the uh, it's it's a GitHub issue tracker. So if an issue is uh, labeled with good first issue, have one date, GSOD, LFX mentorship, and uh, OSPP. The issue will be sent to the uh, sent to the GitHub channel uh, directly, and the channel name is um, uh, seeking something to contribute to. So we filter that um, we filter the issues that um, suitable for the uh, community or the newcomer to con uh, to contribute to. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's kind of help the potential contributor to find the to find the issues that they can uh, contribute to. Then we, uh, we, uh, uh, yes, we can use ChatGPT to write code, but, uh, um, but, uh, but we, uh, we don't involve this process. So, uh, so we, uh, we will go through to the fast forward to the PR review phase. Uh, this is uh, an image from Leonard B. Uh, from this image, we can see that um, PR, um, PR review is the, um, uh, is uh, will take. Uh, Almost five days to review, but um, um, we will we just spend uh, uh, nineteen hours to coding. So um, PR um, PR review is the, uh, takes the most time during the whole process. How can we um, accelerate this process? So uh, we made a um, um, PR review bot. Uh, it's also based on ChatGPT or GPT four. Um, the, uh, the, the, the GitHub bot will uh, review the new PR autom automatically. Uh, it's can, uh, it will uh, summarize the PR content. It will summarize the, uh, the key changes of this PR. It will also point out the uh, potential issues. The potential issues can help the maintainer get the points of the uh, of the, this PR, so it's it's kind uh, and uh, uh, the the PR report will respond to the PR uh, uh, soonly. So uh, so it can uh, it can respond to the contributor soonly. So uh, this PR uh, review board uh, can save the maintainer's time and uh, respond to the uh, PR creator in no time, and it will uh, enhance the. Uh, the creator's experience, and um, uh, for me, this PR review board can also help me understand what does the, uh, what what the PR do in plain English. I don't need to uh, ask um, uh, our maintainers, so it's it's also can help me to learn what the, what the computers are doing. And then uh, after the uh, PI is merged, uh, we want to uh, we want to build the uh, connection with the contributor. We want the we want to the uh, the uh, contribute to our repo uh, uh, one more time. So uh, I will uh, so I set an uh, set uh, set an automation that uh, send a thank you email to the uh, contributor. Uh, so in this, uh, this, this is just a sample. So uh, in the email, I will uh, I will say thank you to the contributor, and uh, I will list. Uh, uh, I will uh, I will ask uh, him to uh, join our Discord server um, to uh, to check out other you know, good first issues, and I will also ask him to claim their uh, developer uh, swag. 
So uh, this is the um, uh, whole process to uh, to automate the um, uh, the new contributor onboarding process uh, with GPT or uh, just uh, automation. Um, another use case is um, uh, GPT-4 for the uh, community assistant. Uh, this is uh, uh, well known that OpenAI uh, just announced a new product uh, uh, last month. It's called Assistant. Uh, with the OpenAI Assistant API, uh, uh, me uh, people like me that um, are non-technical uh, non don't know how to uh, program can build uh, uh, their own assistant. Uh, I will show you uh, how to do uh, next. So um, we can build a community assistant to uh, interact with the community member and answer their questions. Um, this is, uh, uh, I ask a uh, uh, same question uh, to ChatGPT and um, um, the, uh, the boss that I made for uh, was match. Uh, the question is uh, uh, very normal. Uh, it's uh, uh, how to how to install was match on Ubuntu? Uh, it's a common question, um, and also uh, ChatGPT answer is also it's also common. Um, but we don't have was match APT repo, so the answer is is wrong. Um, this bot is uh, um, I built this bot with was my docs, so I. I uh, I use was my docs to create some embeddings, and uh, when a um, uh, when a user asks a question, uh, OpenAI will uh, will search all the similar responding uh, embeddings, and then uh, send the uh, send the uh, and then uh, answer the question with the uh, embedding as a context. So uh, this board works uh, very well. Uh, it's uh, the the command line is uh, is. Uh, is one hundred percent correct? Uh, with this, uh, with the command lines, you can uh, uh, you can install WasMage on, on on your Ubuntu machine successfully. So, uh, build, uh, building um, GPT uh, GPT four or ChatGPT is great, but um, uh, it's not an expert for uh, our open source project. Uh, when applied to uh, a, a unique software, ChatGPT um, uh, often Provide a uh, run answer, run, run answers. So, uh, so we build um, a rug based um, uh, chat GPT can uh, help solve the the problem. So, um, uh, we still have time. So, I will uh, show you how to build a rug based um, uh, chat GPT uh, assistant uh, with OpenAI and the uh, and the uh, and the, and the Flux network. So uh, the first step is that um, uh, go to the uh, OpenAI platform, and uh, oh sorry, and then go to uh, Assistant here, and uh, then you click uh, uh, create to create uh, to create a new Assistant. Let me see. Uh, the instruction uh, here is the prompt for the assistant, so you can customize your own. And then we uh, choose uh, choose model. And the, uh, uh, you you need to choose a GPT four uh, eleven zero six preview or GPT uh, three point five turbo eleven zero six. Uh, I will use GPT four. And then I uh, will show the uh, enable the retrieval feature here. 
and then we can uh, add some um, uh, some 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 files. Uh, the, those files will be uh, create a uh, a uh, uh, OpenAI Assistant API will use these files to create some embeddings for your own uh, for your own knowledge base. Mm. Uh, sorry, I changed the the, uh, the computers. Uh, just give me a minute. Sorry, this is not my computer because <laughs> my computer can't connect <laughs> the monitor. You, um, you want your mind, you just download it, right? Yeah. Um, I think it's right there. It's in software. No, 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 no. Let me see. It, is that? I don't think you download it here. Right? We can just keep one open to download. Where? Like that one? Like this? What is it? Ross, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can get it. One of them is MD. So I upload I uploaded a, 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 a Markdown file here, and then I click save. Uh, it's done. Uh, we will have a, a, a system ID here. Uh, this is very important because uh, we will use the ID to connect uh, Discord or Telegram later. So um, uh, before we uh, before we uh, build uh, connect the, uh, this assistant to a uh, Telegram or Discord, we can also um, test the assistant into the uh, into the OpenAI playground. We can ask a question here. Um, the file I just uh, uploaded is about uh, you know, how to quick start um, uh, uh, with WordMatch on Docker. So I will ask uh, uh, this question.
it will take several minutes or seconds to respond to this um, this question. Mm, uh, we can uh, we can go to uh, the next phase. Uh, after we have the assent ID, uh, ID, we can um, build a uh, build a, a telegram or a Discord bot based uh, based on this. Uh, uh, this assistant, uh, because uh, this call bot is uh, this call setup is um, a little complex, so I will use uh, uh, Telegram here. Um, uh, we can just uh, um, click uh, uh, click on deploy, and then uh, we will need to um, to fill in some parameters. Uh, the uh, the first one is the uh, assist ID. Uh, which we can get from the OpenAI, and then we need an OpenAI key, and then we will need a Telegram token. So, uh, the the uh, the uh, the assistant just um, answer my question. Oh, uh, th th that's very very correct. Um, the uh, Docker desktop version should be above uh, uh, 4.15 uh, because this is um, an, uh, an collaboration with WordMatch and, uh, uh, and Docker that happened on uh, KubeCon uh, NA Detroit last year. So, um, so you can see that um, and the, uh, the OpenAI assistant can answer unique questions related to your, uh, your open source software. And then, uh, then we can uh, build the Telegram bot. So we need the uh, Telegram ID, well, sorry, assistant ID. Just uh, copy this one and fill in here. And we also need an OpenAI key. I will create a new one. Uh, then we need a Telegram token. Uh, I will use my phone to, to set up the token. Yeah, um, to create a Telegram token, you can uh, find the uh, bot father. It's very simple. You just um, uh, chat with the bot father, and then we'll get a um, uh, Telegram token. It's much simpler than uh, Discord. Um, how do you OSS Japan? Okay. Yeah. Okay, then uh, we, cr uh, we click on create and build. It's almost done. Uh, the, uh, the first network will build and deploy the, uh, the function. Uh, we uh, so we don't need to do anything, just um, uh, waiting for the uh, GitHub, uh, the, the function is, uh, uh, is built. But if uh, uh, this computer doesn't have a uh, telegram, but um, you can find the, uh, the bot uh, via this link. Oh, 
it, it's still building. So <coughs> I will continue um, because we have um, uh, we have uh, we have also have uh, several minutes. So uh, if we want to build any. Uh, um, any the automation on uh, whether they are pulling the uh, pulled by ChatGPT or not, so you can uh, you can scan this QR code to check the uh, the, the automation tools I mentioned in uh, in my slides, and um, uh, the, uh, the, the the this tool is pulled by uh, was match. And uh, if you have any questions uh, in building uh, your own automations, you can uh, contact me, and um, I put my email here. Okay, so uh, one problem that I think ChatGPT for is that it's too expensive. <laughs> so um, we can. Uh, there are a lot of open source um, large language models, and um, uh, we can also use uh, this is uh, as so we can also use open source LM to to run or build our own agent just like I did before. So if you are interested in um, uh, 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 high performance and uh, uh, portable AI inference with uh, Rust and the Wasm, uh, you can go to uh, my colleague uh, Michael Yuan's uh, talk tomorrow. So uh, uh, that's all my, uh, all my pre presentation. Yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the Telegram board based on the uh, the open air systems and the uh, the uh, how to get started with uh, how to get started was ma was magic with uh, uh, Docker is uh, uh, is built uh, successfully and uh, if you want to try you can you can find the bot with uh, where this link because uh, this computer doesn't have um uh, doesn't have doesn't install Telegram I can't show you in live so you can you can try it by yourself okay that's all thank you. Uh, I think we can answer some questions if you, you have. Hey, I'm quite curious. Uh, the I saw you upload the MD file, creating the Docker. Uh, yeah, would you mind showing us the content? Yeah, uh, just now you upload for the file interpreter, right? Yes, uh, y yes, uh, you can just uh, upload your... Uh, yeah, maybe, uh, could you show us the content of the file that you uploaded? The Docker, oh, the yeah, the MD file, yes. Yeah, sure. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's not my computer. <laughs> I will show you in the with my docs. And this is a file I just uploaded to uh, OpenAI Assistant.
I can send you the link after the meeting. So um, if we don't have any other questions, um, that's all. <laughs> Thank you again.